So now that we know how to turn the sensor on and we have learned how to tag all our sensors, we'll quickly go over how to actually install the sensor into the concrete. So I have here um, a sample of concrete formwork with some rebar inside. We're going to be using this to do the demonstration. So in order to install the, um, the smart rock into the concrete, you're going to actually take the activation wires and twist them around the rebar to secure the smart rock in place. And we do recommend that you uh, find a place where the rebar intersects just to have um, the smart rock as stable as possible and so it doesn't rotate during the pour. Then um, you're going to take your temperature probe and also tuck it under the rebar and have it in place so that uh, it can be protected from any physical damage like so. I just want to quickly note that you don't actually need to make a connection to the rebar in order to install the smart rock. However, we do recommend you do so so you can control how much covering goes on top of the uh, transmitter. Because it is a Bluetooth signal, you want only up to two inches or five centimeters of concrete covering so that that signal is as strong as possible. Now once you do your pour, the um, range for the transmitter is up to eight meters or 25 feet. So now that you have it all good to go, I'll just give you another quick look. You're able to do your concrete pour and be set to go.